Itzamara Ben-Gvir is no stranger to provocations. But the latest comments made by Israel's national security minister may not bode well for Israeli diplomacy. I manage my own policy concerning the Temple Mount, not that of the Jordanian government. I went up to the Temple Mount. I will continue to go up to the Temple Mount. With all due respect to Jordan, Israel is an independent country. The timing of his comments, significant. Coming a day after Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu met with Jordan's King Abdullah II. The Temple Mount, a site holy to Jews and Muslims and where the Al-Aqsa Mosque is located, featured in their discussions. King Abdullah stressed the importance of respecting the historical and legal status quo in Al-Aqsa Mosque, Al-Haram Al-Sharif. His Majesty emphasized the need to maintain calm and cease all acts of violence, calling for an end to any measures that could undermine peace prospects. The King reaffirmed Jordan's steadfast position in support of the two-state solution. The reports from the Premier's unannounced trip to Amman say that Netanyahu vowed to preserve the status quo on the Temple Mount, agreed upon in the 1994 peace agreement. That stipulates that Jordan, whose waqf maintains religious authority over the volatile compound, allows Muslims to enter and pray there without restrictions, while Jews cannot pray but can enter under certain conditions. Many in Israel's political sphere, like Ben Gvir, who recently visited the holy site, have sought to change that. But doing so may have far-reaching consequences, including the possibility of a diplomatic downgrade. This is a major challenge not only to Palestinians, but also on the regional level, a challenge to Arabs and Muslims and the international community and the prospects of peace. Given the current Israeli government's goal of expanding on the Abraham Accords, it may need to balance the weight of Ben Gvir's comments and possible actions toward the Temple Mount with active diplomacy.